In this video, I will provide a lot of examples on the laws of exponents. If you don't feel comfortable with the basics of exponents, feel free to watch my videos called Intro to Exponents and Laws of Exponents. Let's start with negative 2x squared times y to the fifth and multiply this by 3x times y to the negative fourth. Because the order of operations in multiplication doesn't matter, we can remove the parentheses and combine like terms. Negative 2 times 3 is negative 6. What is x squared times x? This is a good example for the multiplication rule of exponents with the same base. Keep the base, which in our example is x, and add the exponents, which are 2 and 1. Remember, any number is the same as the number raised to the power of 1. Keep the base also with y to the fifth multiplied by y to the negative fourth. And add the exponents. So we get negative 6 times x cubed times y to the power of 1. Which is negative 6x cubed times y. Let's look at 3x squared times y cubed and raise this to the second power. We can use the power of product law in this example which says we can distribute the exponent to each factor. So we get 3 squared times x squared raised to the power of 2 times y cubed raised to the power of 2. 3 squared is 9. When we have x raised to a power and then that is raised to another power again, we can then multiply the exponents together and we get x raised to 2 times 2. This also works for y cubed raised to the power of 2. So we get 9 times x raised to the power of 4 times y raised to the power of 6. Let's look at 5x times 3 minus 4x squared raised to the power of 0. In this example, we can use the law of the zero exponent, which tells us that every non-zero number raised to zero equals one. So 
So 3 minus 4x squared is raised to 0, which means it just equals 1. So we get 5x times 1, which is equal to 5x. 3x squared divided by x raised to the power of 3. Make sure that x is not 0, because dividing by 0 is not defined. Now we can use the law of fractional exponents. and distribute the exponent to the dividend and to the divisor. So we get 3 cubed times x squared raised to the power of 3 divided by x cubed. 3 cubed is 9 x squared raised to the power of 3 is x raised to the 6th after cancelling out x cubed we have 9 x cubed left over and that's our answer What about this example? 1 divided by 2x raised to negative 3. Make sure x is not 0. For this problem, it looks like we need the law for negative exponents, which says that the number with a negative exponent is just the 1 over the same expression with a positive exponent. So we can write x raised to negative 3 as 1 over x raised to 3. Two times one over x cubed is equal to two over x cubed. Whenever we have a fraction under a fraction, it gets inverted. So we flip the 2 and the x cubed, and so we get x cubed over 2 as our answer. This is not a rule for exponents, but it is also very important, so I highly recommend memorizing it. six x squared times y raised to negative three divided by two x raised to negative one times y. First, we can cancel out the six on the top and the two on the bottom, which gives us three. Then we can write 1 over y cubed instead of y raised to negative 3.
and we can also write x raised to negative 1 as 1 over x raised to 1. Now let's write this as 3x squared divided by y cubed and y divided by x raised to 1 which is x. Three x squared divided by y cubed times x divided by y. So we get three x squared times x. So we get three x cubed divided by y to the fourth. Let's look at this example. 2x cubed divided by y. An expression raised to the power of negative 2 can also be written as 1. over the same expression raised to the positive 2. Now we can distribute the 2 to the dividend and to the divisor. And then using the rule where a fraction under a fraction is flipped over, And we get y squared divided by 4x raised to the sixth. How can we simplify x raised to the power of 12 divided by x raised to the power of 5? Keep the base and subtract the exponents. What if we flip the order of the numbers so it's x raised to the power of 5 divided by x raised to the power of 12. Then we get x raised to the power of 5 minus 12 which is x raised to the power of negative 7. So be careful and always make sure that you subtract the exponent at the bottom from the exponent at the top. If you want, you can write this as 1 divided by x to the power of 7. What about this example? How can we write the fifth root of a cubed as an exponent. That's simple. Just use the rule that any non-zero number raised to m over n is the same as the nth root of a to the power of m. So we get a 
raised to 3 over 5. Let's do another example where we have to use this law. The third root of a raised to the power of 2 times the square root of a cubed. Feel free to pause the video, grab paper and pen and try this on your own. Using the same rule as before, we can write the first root as a raised to 2 over 3. Before we use the same rule for the second root, it's good to know that we can write a 2 in the root index, which does not change the root. Now we can write this root also as an exponent, which is then a raised to the power of 3 over 2. Multiplying exponents with the same base is simple. We just have to add the exponents so we get a raised to 2 over 3 plus 3 over 2. The least common denominator is 6. So we get a raised to 4 over 6 plus 9 over 6. Which is a raised to 13 over 6. If you want, you can now write this as a root using the rule again, which is then the sixth root of a raised to the power of 13. By the way, feel free to check out my next video about properties of roots. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments. This video is what I did for you. If you want to do something for me, hit the bell button, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching and happy learning everyone.